Today is uh, Wednesday, two days before the 30th of uh, September 2016, when one of the leading countries in the CPTM Smart Partnership Movement Botswana is uh, celebrating 50th anniversary of their independence and also um, their uh, Vision 2016, which uh, they attended to in the last uh, so many years, and the beginning of the next phase beyond Vision 2016. So, uh, in addition to the message that has been put together on behalf of all the CPTM Smart Partnership Movement, we have individual messages from smart partners who are relevant and very much involved in their own national visioning or in the uh, Southern African and uh, Africa as a whole. And uh, we have today at the hub um, John Carter, mm -hmm. a CPTM companion and founder member of the Smart Partners Business Link, Southern Africa, South Africa, Malawi, but um, African uh, uh, smart partner, CPTM smart partner. And we have also Andrew Mahiga, who is uh, uh, a symbol of the Dar es Salaam, uh, the successful dialogue in Tanzania, Global 2013, but who was the leader, and still is, of the Smart 29ers in Tanzania. He happens to be in London and doing, he will tell us what he does uh, for the next a few months or so. But um, I thought that the vision uh, or the visioning, or the vision is for all seasons, is for all countries, is for all the various uh, developments that are taking place. And therefore, although we are celebrating the vision in Botswana, I think we are celebrating all the visions that are taking place. That is in Tanzania, that is in Uganda, that is in St. Lucia, all the various national visioning that Smart Partnership is supporting and hoping to be successful. So John, what do you think? We've been together in the movement in Kasane, from long, Kasane. It's a long time. It's long time. Just on 30 years. Wow. So that's yeah. a generation. And it, it really is. I, yes. I think it's fantastic how well Botswana has done and all the very best wishes for it to continue so. They've had a unique um, record. Three independents or uh, new presidents, one after the other, following um, the original Sir Saretsi Kama. And Kit Masiri, who started the visioning, was really on the ball the way he got it going. And uh, I don't think I'll ever forget Kasani particularly the first morning coming out of my tent to find one of the bodyguards pointing a gun at me by mistake. <laughs> they were very securely minded. Maybe they were thinking you were <laughs> well, one of the... Perhaps it was too early in the morning yeah. for anybody to be moving. Mm -hmm. But it was a really good start. Uh, I remember a lot of very interesting people. Uh, Jerry Rawlings, for example, uh, talking and being very good about the whole principle of what was needed to be done and how he was anxious that it should go on and how Sir Kit Masiri mm -hmm. uh, was talking about smart partnership and of course uh, Mahathir, Prime Minister Mahathir was there and he was expounding and it was fantastic stuff and it still is, it really is and it's what's needed everywhere that you incorporate a plan for the nation that's going to keep the nation on the uh, on a steady course and when governments come and go and when people as managers or captains come and go they try to keep or should try to keep the nation on a steady course and that's where the visioning and the working together with the involvement of everybody including those who have their own agendas but sublimating own agen agendas to the best and the better good which is not always the case, but in Botswana, it's been outstanding. John, but if you were to put your business perspective hat, and you were to say Botswana Inc., would, from now on, you think the visioning process within the Southern Africa and within the take a different or a specific 
No, I, I, I take the point. I think, I think business incorporated needs to incorporate with the nation. It's absolutely vital. But it mustn't be the other way around. It must not be a hijack. Mm -hmm. They need to work together because otherwise the nation can't go forward. Mm -hmm. Never forget what uh, Prime Minister Mahathir said. Mm -hmm. The biggest shareholder in business is government. Uh -huh. They have yeah, all the taxes. They need mm -hmm. to make things smoother, mm -hmm. not uh, a diversion. They must work together. And I think business in corporate really is nation in court and really they need uh -huh. to go together yeah. and it's not just one group of people who should have access to the system it should be all the people not necessarily on the same level but certainly they should all have access in a fair and open manner because otherwise systems don't work mm -hmm. they, they create a bias and then everybody has to aim off to try and accommodate the bias and then they go further off to one side and it drifts and can easily fall off the rails. I, su I, I suppose we started with recognized business and labor. For that was reasons. the beginning when you first talked but about it. But more and more we went into social issues, but also Absolutely. in particular the youth, not that the youth didn't exist there. <coughs> so uh, the, the idea was to include uh, inclusion. Uh, inclusion is a word that everybody's using nowadays. It's a bit yeah. abused, actually. <coughs> but I still feel comfortable with smart partnership. I Although, again, smart is used, what do you think, in all sorts of connotations, Andrew, uh, from your point of view? About inclusion or smart partnership? How about inclusion relevant to Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll speak on, on the youth perspective. Yeah. Um, first of all, Dumela, um, happy 50th independence um, to Botswana. Um, as Dr. Mihaela mentioned, my name is Andrew Mahiga, I'm from Tanzania, but I'm very familiar with Southern Africa. I went to high school in Swaziland for five years and I had a lot of friends, roommates from Botswana. Um, I think um, inclusion, as you mentioned, youth being included in national visions. Um, one thing is, is a message or word of advice to young people is take ownership of your nation's um, national visions or your country's national visions. Um, see what role you can play in it. Mm -hmm. um, because every citizen of a country has a role to play in their own national vision. It is not an agenda strictly for the government to push or to impose on you. Uh, find where you belong in the national vision and make sure, hold your government accountable to allow you to be involved in your national vision um, and to encourage you as well. Um, you know, it's, it's one thing to have permission, but if someone isn't giving you that encouragement and providing the resources necessary, for you to pursue your national vision or to reach your national vision, then um, being allowed isn't enough. Um, and I guess that's where the real inclusion is. Um, you can say inclusion, but if you don't have access or you don't feel don't like have you, process, you have ownership of, of something you're being included in or motivation, then it's yeah. really not inclusion. It's just a title that you're carrying with you. So this is definitely. The so the vision 20 what should be now? For should Botswana? Have, Botswana? Yes. Well, they obviously need another vision, or rather they need an extension of the vision. AI is an extension and, of the And I, I just want to pick up on what Andrew said. When we were young, younger than you perhaps, okay, um, nobody told us what was going on. Mm -hmm. What we could glean from our parents or our peers or from wherever was always very one-sided. Um, mm -hmm. And I remember reading Sam Najoma's book not long ago, his autobiography, yes. and being absolutely astounded to hear of the things that he knew about where I came from, which was Northern Rhodesia, Zambia now, uh, that I knew nothing about, not a thing about. Incredible. And even until 20 years ago I didn't know about it, even 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I discovered things that I should have known maybe 40 years ago, because I left Northern Rhodesia, as it then was, in 64, which is long, long ago, 50 mm. something years ago. But I really didn't understand what was happening, and I had no clue what was going on. It was partly the tradition in those days, and partly the politics. And that's a part of the problem today in Africa, that the politics gets in the way of the facts. Mm. And people find out the facts, and in a way, uh, we're very lucky, well, in many ways, we're very lucky to have electronic information, because we can get a great deal more than one ever had, and Probably too much. too much, <laughs> and a lot of it's frivolous, unfortunately, and that's, and that's a pity, because people who are irresponsible or 
we're just bubbleheads, mm -hmm. don't understand the importance of the information, the real information. And the communication. And the, communi and the sense of it. To and be to, part of. It, to be part of it, but also to get a big picture and a small picture. We had lots of little pictures, but they were all remote from one another, no, and we didn't know what was right. happening. So, so when I first got to, sorry, I got, yeah. got to Kasani, yeah. to me it was very interesting, but it was actually a great deal more. It was enlightening to see that everybody had similar problems, and they were all approaching them the from different directions. Result, being aware yeah. of it. And the smart partnership that developed amongst the presidents there, and the people who I met there, mm -hmm. business, politics, labor, the links, the links yes. were phenomenal. And the fact that we people could today. say my word, I didn't know that. How could I have known that? And mm -hmm. the other said, well, it was obvious, but it wasn't obvious. Mm -hmm. I remember Jerry Rawlings in particular saying, uh, that we need to run the place properly. And he said, if you don't run it properly, I'll come back and take over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again. But yeah, the point was, was that people got together, yeah. people started to understand and work together. And you together. remember Ciro Makosa, how keen he was on he was phenomenal an efficient civil service. Yeah. yeah. It was quite incredible. It, it was really great. And it, yeah. So I mean, this was, this was the, the roots we of the to. visioning in mm. Botswana. So uh, I suppose uh, Andrew will be able to have you more often to the hub. And probably Definitely. will exploit that because Definitely. we do need to probably uh, not discuss about the generation as such of use. Mm. The more valuable thing that this map partnership does is the intergeneration because the vision is an intergenerational thing. And it's the handing over the battle. Exactly. That's what it is. It's not even handling over, engaging in while the others are doing. So this is the magic of the visioning, if it's yeah. done properly. There's a continuum, so, yes. but it's, yes. it's a continuum that can work with what's changing yes. and, and adapt it to best, to best yeah. purpose. I would like also to say, and probably that, uh, the uh, Vision 2016, the team which eventually had to, the so-called secretariat team and the council members of the Vision 2016, they had a very difficult job. And they've done brilliantly. Now, why did they do brilliantly? Simply because there wasn't any track record of this kind. Mm. That's number one. And I, I'm, I'm sure that here and there, in the next few years, they will probably do slightly different. But it's a different context, different leaders. So, uh, well done to the Vision 2016, the Secretariat, which... Uh, I understand from today onwards we'll be evolving a different institutional framework for the next phase of the vision in Botswana, but well done to them and probably we should send to them very much because all the other visions are looking to what they've done and we participated almost every year to their uh, September events uh, around 30s that they were in Francistown, they were in Lobatse, they were in Kanye. They were in uh, Mafikeng or around it. But they continued to do and it. And they continued to do it. So That's it was the most point. incredible what uh, they've done. Obviously, there are lessons of how to do better, but that's the whole name of the game. And, You've uh, got to develop the track. Yeah. They so were the congratulations pioneers. to all yeah. the team on Vision 2016 really and to Umpo, who is a CPTM companion, because she was able to maintain everybody in the country into a dialogue mode. Even if they didn't know what it is, you dare tell them, Potter, you don't know what it is. <laughs> so my partnership and a dialogue and a vision and the pillars, you wouldn't have, uh, you'd have her every day mm. to tell you that. It would so, be great if it could be continued. Andrew, you have the last region. word. <laughs> um, what about that? Yes, happy 15th independence. Um, I look forward to what Botswana is going to produce in the next 50 years. Okay. And he could still be there. I could still be there. <laughs> we, we might, all have we to might be not there. be there. We might have to be there. Not all the way. Right. Okay. Thank you very so, much. Thank you, Michaela. Thank you, CPT. Have a nice celebration. Well done, Botswana. Okay.